our last episode, we rode out Tropical Storm Nicole in Charleston Harbor Resort and Marina. Now it was time to start moving south again. Our next stop, Upper Rock Creek. Some of the places where we would drop the anchor were very isolated and oftentimes we were rewarded with a beautiful sunset. Our next stop, the Municipal Day Dock in Beaufort, South Carolina. This is Beaufort, South Carolina, not to be confused with Ophir, North Carolina. And we went through this bridge over over here which is ladies island swing bridge and after going through the bridge we tied up at this really cool free day dock here in Beaufort and they have all nice little shops over here that we're gonna go and check out and yeah, this dock is good and solid and tonight we're gonna go get a mooring ball back here at Safe Harbor Marina. $40 for tonight. So we'll be good and snug on a mooring ball and won't have to worry about dragging anchor or anything. Here we are at Safe Harbor Marina. We got ourselves a mooring ball. We're here with some other boats in the mooring field. And this is what our mooring ball looks like. Big, slimy line with all kinds of oysters growing on it. You gotta be careful when you pull up that line. It's tough on the hands. We're set over here for tonight. Our next stop, Savannah Municipal City Dock. Here we are in Savannah, Georgia. We arrived here yesterday afternoon and taking advantage of the free municipal dock. Free municipal docking for two days max and free electricity. And here we are right on the waterfront Cool looking ships there with the paddle wheel and here's all the little restaurants and shops on the waterfront and there's a lot more to see when you go in the center of uh, the old city and it is beautiful. So make it one of your stops when you come uh, out this way. It's time to indulge in some local food and drinks to go. Now we're ready to explore and learn all about the local history. Florence Martus greeted ships entering Savannah from 1887 to 1931. From the lighthouse, she would wave a cloth at approaching ships in search of her long lost lover. To this day, many ships still sound a salute to her statue. Steers are much steeper than new steers built today. Interesting story about these cobblestones. They arrived here as ballast stones in ships that came from all around the world. Savannah is well known for its beautiful fountains. This fountain was presented to the city by Colonial Women of America to honor the 250th anniversary of the city's founding. We found the Foresight Park fountain to be the most beautiful fountain in the city. The fountain is modeled on fountains found in Paris and Peru. The historic district has many great restaurants to choose from, all in walking distance. Now it was time to head south again. So we charted course for St. Augustine, Florida, where Ilona and I would be celebrating our Thanksgiving. Because we only traveled during the day, we made five stops along the way before arriving at River's Edge Marina, which is a short Uber ride 
to old historic St. Augustine, where we would get to see the famous Night of Lights Christmas display. But more on that in our next episode.